God calling. You, you, you also don't believe that. Because you don't do nothing. You, you watch as the world turns. <laughs> and you don't see, it don't turn into any good thing. He said, watch what goes on in your nation. Don't you know? You see, the amazing thing is that the Lord said, listen, this earth I gave to man. I gave this earth to man, to Adam, and his seed, his descendants. And then they gave it up to the devil. And I came in my mercy to come and save you, deliver you, break the power of the devil over your souls, all right, so that you can now live in me and I live in you. But why didn't I take you, take you to heaven when I saved you? But I left you down here. So you can rule. You can exercise dominion over this earth of woe and save people for my name's sake. But then we took that wonderful message and made it church. And we've been going, 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 and the world is sinking, sinking, sinking in darkness. And we're still going, going, going. When will you understand that it's not about just going to church? Come on, just merely going to church? You think that will help the world? That will bring souls in? It is walking with the Lord. Walking with the Lord. And uh, it will be said of you that they took notice. Damazo. They took notice of them. That they have been with that, with that Galilean that we didn't like. You hear me now? <laughs> they will take notice of what is happening in your soul. Amen. This is what the Lord wants. First Corinthians chapter chapter I think uh, chapter one verse nine. We said it before. God is faithful who called you to what to church. Call, what did He call you to? Amen. To the fellowship of His Son. Fellowship of His Son to commune with Him. You tell me, if you commune with him, what is it that's going to happen to you? Church will happen to you. There shall be a transformation of your inner life. Your life will be, you find yourself being conformed to the image of Jesus Christ. That's why I say it's not about just going to church. You are my church. There's one whole message over here. He said, tell my people, when will they understand? That I didn't say they should just go to church. I said they should walk with me. Walk with me. Allow me to transform their inner life. And then I conform them to my image. And they shall be my witnesses. You see that? They will be my witnesses when they are in touch with me. Because I will change them from within their being. And they will begin to have impact wherever they go. My presence will ooze out of their being. Yes, Haven't you read in the Bible in somewhere in Second Corinthians that we are the fragrance of Christ? Yes. Fragrance of Christ? Whoever smells some fragrance from you? Who, <laughs> who, which, what sinner ever smells some fragrance from you? You've been in church since Moses. Uh, those on the internet, what, 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 what sinner ever smells some fragrance because you pass by? You pass by the sinner. And you say, wow, you smell good. What is that? It's Jesus. <laughs> you see that? The Lord insists with us. Listen. The Lord has told us that he ain't asking us to just go to church. He wants to see us transformed. That is our, 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 our training. That we will be transformed. Say, no lie. You ain't going to lie. You ain't going to lie to me. Like you all lie everywhere. <laughs> you tell truth. You learn to speak truth. As I, the Lord, I speak truth. There is no darkness in me. How can you say you are my servant but you are full of darkness? Full of kalabuli. You know, in Ghana, you say kalabule. In Ghana, it's a crooked. So, yeah, crooked stuff, you call kalabule. <laughs> oh! <laughs> now they have a new name. What's the new name they give now? 409. 409. 409. 
<laughs> the crooked people are called the four nine people. They are crooks. You see that? But you can't walk with God and be a crook and be a demon crack. <laughs> a demon rat. <laughs> they are full of crookedness. Because godlessness makes you crooked. Only God makes you righteous. And the Democrat party put away God from among them. So look at their fruit. Crookedness, lies, cheaters. My Lord, don't they have a sense of shame? Will, will, will this, this other man be comfortable knowing he cheated? Knowing he lied? How can he be comfortable? And he going about saying, yeah, they voted for me. Them devils voted for me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm in trouble. But I for me, unless the Lord don't, don't turn me loose. <laughs> but if he turn me loose, he give me the power he's going to give me. Brother, I'm wild. I'll be walking preaching. Walking preaching. <laughs> Running and preaching. Climbing and preaching. <laughs> Everywhere. I'll be walking preaching. What in the world is happening to the people? A whole political party are steeped in the in the in the in the what in the in the oh what is that oh, oh I've, I've forgotten the word I want but steeped in lies in the expertise of lying. <laughs> come, come on now, are you hear me now? So it is not about just going to church, right? It's about being saved and staying close with Jesus, abiding in him, communing with him. We've been given commandment, all right, by the Lord, to commune with him daily. Daily. Read the word daily. Until the word possesses your inner life. Yes, sir. How can you have the word of God possessing your inner life and you act like a crooked man? It ain't going to work. The word will destroy all your crookedness. Ooh, yes, God. 